Hi, this is Mike with Marine Max Sail and Ski. It's a warm, sunny day here in San Antonio, but we have whiteout conditions with our latest 25 cat from our friends at Dargo Boats. This is the 25 HDX cat, done in all white. Super clean looking, really custom looking. The fish have nowhere to hide from this boat. <clears throat> they want to go shallow, you can go shallow. They want to go out in deep water, you've got it. Cross open bays with confidence. Ultra smooth ride, extremely dry. Twin sponsons with 76 degree entry points. Built in lifting strikes to keep the nose from diving, keep the spray knocked down, keep you dry. Integrated louvers between the cat hulls to knock down the spray sneezing forward. As I've always said, these boats are as advertised. They're shallow running, they're smooth, stable, dry, fast. Great looking package. Sit on a nice custom coastline trailer with uh, surge brakes, matching spare tire and wheel, go post a uh, bow stop there, make it easy to load. Custom 5x7 T-top with uh, rolled legs done, done right there at Donna at the factory. Custom leaning posts with split foot rest and armrest. <clears throat> Twin step hole design. <clears throat> Excuse me, adds to the fuel efficiency, performance, makes everything about the boat better. One of the challenges we've always had is uh, it introduces air underneath the boat, making it a slipperier surface. Most depth finders have a hard time picking up signal above about 10 miles an hour, so we've upgraded to the through-hull transducer on our Garmin unit, so it's going to pick up speed at higher or pick up depth at higher speeds. Eliminate that issue. The motor that's changing all the rules, the Mercury 300 V8, weighs in at 527 pounds. Power to weight ratio unmatched, 4.6 liter, fuel injected four stroke. What a powerhouse. Yet, ultra smooth, ultra quiet, very refined. Eight foot power pole Pro 2, all matching white. Underwater lights, PowerTech prop of course, that's an OFS 18. Gives it a nice flat hole shot, ultra grip, no slip. Atlas jack plate. All the lids on your dargles are going to be fiberglass with the uh, flying D for dargle. All stainless steel latches, hatches, hinges. All really well done. Nicely rigged boat. Nice and clean. Did do a light gray floor to give a little bit of a contrast with the white webbing. As you can see we've got the uh, console open for storage and then of course our raised console gives us lots of storage under there. I went ahead and opted for the 72 gallon fuel tank so you got extended range. This is a fishing machine. People are always amazed how a boat this size can go where it can go and how it performs, how smooth it is, how dry it is. It's like fishing off an aircraft carrier. You have so much bow space, so much room up front. What a machine. Let me hop on board, we'll show you some more details. All right, here we are aboard our 25 Cat. There's considerable fishing room in the rear of the boat, the aft section. For those fishing back here, we do have a live well with easy access. Those live wells have fresh water flowing all the time with an overflow standpipe, as well as uh, the pro, pro air system, so you have bubbles like an aquarium. Keep bait overnight if you'd like. Three big scuppers, sheds any water off the deck here, which is rare to get on the deck. But a lot of bay boats I walk around in, um, you have a lot of water on the back deck most any time. These decks are very dry. Again, you'll notice your lids have all stainless hardware. They're fiberglass lids with the Flying D logo. They're uh, deep enough where they have a drain around them with a gutter to shed water overboard. Again, keeping those lockers dry that want to stay dry. Rear section for a cooler here. This is set up where you could use a 75 Yeti or a 94 quart Marine Igloo cooler. They both have about the same footprint, so ready to keep some, some cold drinks or fish there. Speaking of cold drinks, I actually keep my drinks built into the integrated cooler here, right on the top of the console. Has a nice spring to keep it open while you're accessing it. Power pull remote. But it has a drain, so at the end of the day, you just pull the plug and it drains out on the deck. All the water goes away. So food and drinks in here. Cup holders right where you want them, here on the top of the console. I did add a couple to the T-top as well. Good look of our dash here. Beautiful rigging with the, the Mercury 
gauge system with the RPM, fuel, water pressure, trim indicator, all your controls for your jack plate and power pole with an easy reach. Nice custom steering wheel with the turning knob. People are always amazed how smooth these Mercury shift because they're uh, cable operated, but it goes to a fly-by-wire system on the motor, so they shift effortlessly. No false shifts or grinding. Bluetooth sound system. Get some tunes going on the water. Garmin 94, so that's a color GPS sonar unit with uh, the built-in coastal maps already on it. All your switches easy to get to. Clearly labeled with uh, resettable breakers. Nice vantage point from up here on the raised console. You can really see if you're running the flats, you can really see where the where the cuts are. Great visibility from up here to keep an eye on all your fishermen. Let's walk forward here. Rod holders built into the side of the console as you would expect. Nice dargle touch to go ahead and give you an onboard measuring device so you can measure your catch. I love having this additional storage in the console. Great place to throw anything that you want to keep dry out of the way. Second live well here. Again, recirculating with aeration underneath the seat. And this one is massive. You can see it's a full console width here. With uh, two stones in that one. Keep extra air going. So if you want to catch and, catch and call, you've got that option. You want to use it for a fish box, I've done that before. Here's the star of the show, the bow of this boat. I mean, you could have, host a dance up here. Additional storage in the bow. Rigging tube and everything's easy to access for us. You want to add anything? All compression stainless locks. Integrated uh, non-skid built into the decks on this boat. So when we fish it, we can put three, four, five people up front, even kids, casting, swinging rods. We've got plenty of room for everybody. The boat will draft nine inches of water, and it will run in less than that. We're seeing exceptional performance, really good fuel economy. On a nice day, if you want to go out through the jetties, go offshore, this is a boat that can do it all. Thanks again for stopping by to take a look at some of the key features and options on this particular boat. We're happy to help you with any boat we have in our inventory from our Austin, Lakeway, or San Antonio location. Feel free to contact me direct at area code 210-347-5768. We'll see you on the water.